Now, as we were discussing, that uh, senior Congress leader Pawan Bansal also got a nomination forms collected from uh, the election in charge, but he's saying that these are for somebody else. We have Mr. Bansal joining us live on this broadcast right now. Mr. Pawan Bansal, you got nomination forms collected for the presidential elections. Uh, what are those forms for, if not for your own nomination? Yeah, I think it's both amusing and bemusing. I just took, I was going to Chandigarh yesterday. Last time, you know what, the council did, which was an embarrassing thing for me. So this time I thought, let me take those two forms earlier and hand it over to our people there. They will fill in their names correctly, their serial number, etc. And then keep those ready when we have to file nomination paper. We'll see that one or two only will have to come. Everybody doesn't have to come here. 35 people don't have to travel to Delhi. So I just gave the forms to them, that's all it is. There's nothing beyond it. It's beyond imagination, you know, to, for me to even think that I would want to be the Congress president. So are you, completely, how that been, how are, that been are you completely ruling yourself out from uh, the elections? Uh, are you definitely not contesting? I was never in it, I never thought of it, you know, not even the biggest thought. So it was nowhere. I mean, rather I feel that, you know, this is a classic example where a big news can become out of nothing. Right. That's what it is. <laughs> Right, so it's important to clear out that you have no plans of contesting for the polls. But the forms that you got collected, you were saying that those were not for yourself. So any names uh, uh, that you might want to take, that those are the people who might want to contest using those forms? No, I didn't take forms for anyone, whatever. Nobody in mind, in particular in mind. Okay. It's for no specific purpose and I have taken these forms only as a delegate who is entitled to propose a name as a proposer. I have taken these forms. For myself and also for some other friends from Chandigarh only. Right. All right. So with no specific uh, names in mind, you collected those, got those forms collected. But if I also ask you about what's really happening in the Congress, what has come to the fore is definitely uh, an embarrassment for the Congress. The senior leadership goes to Rajasthan to solve the crisis, but then MLAs don't turn up for the meeting. And we've seen that there have been multiple uh, uh, flashpoints and clashes between the senior leadership of the Congress and the MLAs. What do you have to say I about that? I, I don't subscribe to that view. I think we'll tide over this very I mean, smoothly, there is no such problem. I mean, the, the seniors will sit amongst themselves and we'll all talk about it and discuss it. I think there is no problem. It's all a smooth going, otherwise a smooth affair. But and, MLA's, uh, rep MLAs reportedly threatened to resign and then they didn't want Mr. Sachin Pilot as the president. Then Mr. Ajay Markan uh, and uh, Mr. Malikarjun Kharge came to Rajasthan to meet those MLAs and they didn't turn up to meet these senior leaders. And you're saying there's no problem in the Congress, sir? You see, I'm not competent to actually take up all those questions. I'm not the official spokesperson. The official spokesperson will be best suited to actually answer all these questions. I could only speak to you about myself and, and the general right. feeling that things will be all right in the party when in a big party all these things from time to time do happen and then those are all sorted out. I, I, I for, don't foresee any difficulty whatever. Right, so my last question to you, I understand that you're not an official spokesperson, but you've been in the party for really long. So what has been your ob observation as to how the senior leadership is handling the crisis? Do you think the senior leadership's control over its MLAs is loosening? I'm an optimistic person always. I always have faith in the Congress. I have faith in the leadership. I have faith in our collective decision. And I'm confident that things will all be settled. All right, Mr.